Hey, Battle of Gaming here, coming back at you with another Bloxburg video because these are getting me the views and the exposure, and it's pretty cool to have this much. I've been getting a lot of feedback lately, some negative, but I like negative feedback as well. But thanks for all the feedback, people. Thanks for 72 subscribers. That is a huge step towards becoming 100 subscribers. And uh, once I get 100 subscribers, hopefully before I leave, I uh, will be doing a custom channel URL. So make sure you subscribe if you want to see more of these videos. Hit that little bell so you get notified every time I do upload a video. Like the video, leave a comment, and um, share this with your friends because the more people I can get to this channel, the more I can grow and it'll be pretty awesome. But today, without wasting much of your time, I will review reveal our brand new home. It's pretty nice. Uh, it's probably my best uh, creation ever. So if we just hop over here, um, there we go. And here it is. This is my new home. I'm kidding. There it is. This is our the brand new home. They'll get a little cinematic shot of that. Um, pretty nice home. I like it a lot. It's a suburban type home. And this was actually really kind of difficult to create based off the roof stuff because there were some complications in creating that. But if we go inside, I don't have any plumbing or furniture or anything like that. I just have painted walls. These actually are not left unpainted. I painted them a darker gray. But I'll probably change that in the future. But you have these basic rooms, and then you have the garage in here with the car. You go over here, this is our dining room with the back porch. The back porch will be done soon. Then this will be the kitchen. And I keep hitting, I got a new desk by the way, and it has a little slide out tray for my mouse and keyboard, so my uh, headphone cord is kind of running in the way. And someone is messaging me, um, look. I don't want to play with her right now because I'm busy showing off my house, but uh, we have this beautiful bathroom. Okay, yeah, I need to fix that part. So we have this beautiful bathroom, and the bathroom, I like this walls for the bathrooms like you saw in my last house, so I'm going to keep that for everything. And then we have a closet here, just your basic generic closet. And then you go in here to the master bedroom. We have a fireplace in the master bedroom, which is a nice touch, and we also have this bathroom. And I, one key thing I really like about this house is the little slits in the window. They actually blend in with the flow of the house so it looks like it was normally shaped like this even though it wasn't. So that's pretty cool. Like if you go in here, this just fits with the flow of the house and it doesn't even feel like it was some kind of extra add-on that was added on. Even here, it doesn't feel like some extra add-on or some weird irregular shaped thing which I really like how that turned out but when we go into here we have another bathroom bedroom the thing I really like about this house is every bedroom has its own private bathroom see we have this private bathroom and then we go in here and uh, this room and then a private bathroom and as you can see I'm using that same wall for all bathrooms but I managed to have it three floors with the triangular roof which you just use ramps to create that but I managed to get three floors with the that roof type and if we go outside I'll show you um, how I made this roof because it's pretty good uh, size and everything looks pretty cool all I gotta do is use ramps so as you can see I use ramps and then like used to you couldn't add this up here so you couldn't have a three floor house with the ramp roof but I was able to do that and this was actually tricky to put on there because I had to build a wall behind the ramps and it kept saying that I couldn't create the roof until I finally found that one little spot that hadn't been covered by a wall and that was a lot of annoyance but I eventually got it and this is a pretty cool little thing and as you can see that up here this up here is that and it blends in on the inside of the house and then our backyard is pretty cool too. Um, I don't think I can get copyright for this music though. And then we have a fireplace obviously. And I was able to have it on um, technically the third floor. But then 
you go out and that is basically it for um, this house it's a pretty nice little house I haven't done much to it the last house I toured in the video I did add some furniture um, I could show you that but I prefer to keep this video on this specific house but let me guys, let, let me know what you guys think about this house it's one of my proudest houses overall because it took a lot of work and it looks really good um, yeah so like comment subscribe for new videos every week after I get out of basic um, I'll have it I keep forgetting to make that video explaining that but basically I will be gone May 30th through August something I'm not sure when I get back but I know it's in August sometime so there will be 10 weeks of inactivity which I can't exactly help, but um, hopefully you guys will stick around. And if Pete gets back up and running, he's gonna promote my channel a lot. Um, these Roblox videos are not permanent because I, d I did start this off channel as Let's Plays, and then I did uh, group videos with my group, but the group kind of fell apart except for Pete. And Pete is still there, and we got some new people to our group, but we haven't recorded with them because no one's been on. But once Pete gets back in action, and once I get back in action, I'll be recording that. But I'll also do uh, Bloxburg videos time to time if you guys prefer those. I'll probably do multiple things. But like, comment, subscribe, hit that little bell. Don't hit my desk like I did. But hit that little bell so you do get notified every time I do upload a new video. Share with your friends. Feedback is the most important thing to a YouTuber. Like, um, if you leave a comment, tell me what you didn't like about the video, what you did like about the video. That helps me a lot to know what I'm doing. So, that being said, have a good day. Have a good summer. Mine's going to be painful-ish. And I'll see you in the next video.